the town of Macmill and the tower you can see on the hill behind me is the keep of the Macmill castle. It's the most picturesque of Goethe's diron handed castles and the one in which he was besieged by the army of the Swabian League in 1519. Mozart wrote the Leck mich im Arsch canon in 1782. Young Johann Wolfgang von Goethe wrote Goethe von Berlichingen in 1773. The infamous quote, Kiss my ass, used by Mozart as the main motif in his canon, appears in the third act, when Goethe is besieged by the Imperial Army in his castle at Jagsthausen and he answers the captain of the besieging troops. Although we have no accurate information about any actual verbal exchanges that may have taken place during the siege of Merkmühl, we do know of many instances when Goethe's work and the real life of Goethe the Einhanded differ, and the truth was sometimes more interesting than fiction. Goethe's Goethe dies young in prison, whereas the real Goethe died at the very respectable age of 82, and this in the 16th century, when people over the age of 35 were considered old men, and most people died before reaching 50. Goethe took part in countless wars, was imprisoned many times, lost his arm and had an iron prosthetic made when he was only 25. He fought for two Holy Roman Emperors, Maximilian I and Charles V, and took part in the campaign against Suleiman the Magnificent in Hungary in 1542. Goethe von Berlichingen was the castellan of Merkmühle Castle from 1517, and in the service of Ulrich, Duke of Württemberg, who in turn was at war with the Swabian League. A true aspect of the 1519 siege appears in Goethe's play. Although there was usually enough gunpowder in the castle's magazines, somehow there were never enough lead shots for use as ammunition. However, every castle and every church had an almost inexhaustible supply of lead. Lead was commonly used to fill the gaps between sandstone blocks. It was used to attach glass panes in windows. Furthermore, most water pipes, and sometimes whole roofs, were made of lead. Another interesting story that reoccurs in sieges of that period was that castles didn't always have water wells. Merkmule Castle certainly had no well, and until the end of the 15th century, it was the feudal duty of the town inhabitants to carry water from the nearby river to the castle. Water was also in short supply during the 1519 siege, but fortunately for the defenders, the valley of the river Yaxt and the hall of Württemberg have always been famous for their wines and the castle cellars were kept full. People and horses alike shared wine supplies during the siege, even in peacetime. While it was uncommon to give wine to horses, it was generally considered a healthier drink than water, similar to beer in medieval England. The average daily wine allowance at that time in the German castles in the Rhine or Necker valleys was 3 to 5 litres per person. The siege ended as it had to end. The besiegers were reinforced with 1,000 additional troops and siege artillery, and the small castle had to surrender. Goetz tried to escape but was captured. And the legend says that it happened on this very field.